Neighboring Shanghai, there is a small county-level city famous among the German community in China. Guten Tag. It's home to 500 German firms, more than anywhere in the country. We like that. German city in China. How did the city of Taichung become the so-called German town of China? We begin our journey from this bus route. We are here in Taichung at the point of the origin of the number one or three bus line. Check out the stop sign here. Well, if you know Chinese, most of these signs are actually transliteration of German terms. The route runs through East Nanjing Road, an industrial cluster for the automobile industry. On this road, it's possible to find everything you need to produce an electric driving system for vehicles. The German terms we see on the board are Chinese names for some of these factories. Our stop is called Kerr Liebers, the first German firm that came to Taichung. Guten Tag! Ni hao, and welcome to Kerr Liebers. In 1993, the German manufacturer of car parts decided to set up a firm in China. He chose Taichung because of the location. Very close to the big cities, to the big hubs, port, airports, Shanghai. We liked it. Taichung has a population of only 850,000 people. But it's only a one-hour drive from central Shanghai and sits along the Yangtze River. The natural advantages of the city make it ideal for trading. Are there any of the German companies that actually you recommended them to come? Oh, I think plenty of those, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe not directly me, yeah, but in the beginning, I think uh, Ken Liebers did a lot of advertising for Taizang. So uh, companies like Fischer or Mubea uh, came uh, in because we recommended it. Now I also do that. In the 1990s, there were only a dozen German firms in Taizang, but this figure jumped significantly in the 2000s. But geography is not the only reason 500 firms have set up shop here. One man, Duan Yuechang, has played a key role. Over the past 20 years, Duan has traveled to Germany at least once a year only to attract more German investment. His personal experience helps him understand German work culture. First, they require high-end technologies. Second, they require high-quality professionals who understand how to operate high-end machine tools and possess foreign language proficiency to understand these drawings. To help the firms find the employees they want, Taichung has even imported a German education system called the dual system. This is an auto part. It looks simple, right? But making a perfect one with workers' years of experiences. This is a training center at a German firm. Students spend a part of their time at a local vocational school to develop their theoretical knowledge. And the rest of the time they spend here learning the practicalities of the job. Taichung currently has over 20 such training centers. After studying for five years, these students remain at the firms to work. The system also provides job opportunities to locals. 60% of jobs in Taichung are provided by German firms. We need to supply 30 million high-pressure common rails a year, and they require a high standard of consistency. Small-sized firms can't ensure such high levels of consistency, so we are still in short supply of skilled workers. A survey published in January by the German Chamber of Commerce shows over 90% of German companies operating in China would remain in the country. It says close to 80% of the surveyed firms expect to see their industries grow in the next five years. Based in Taichung for more than three decades, the very first German firm in the city is still growing. The industrial chain also, over the, especially over the last decade, become more and more convenient, better and better. And uh, not only if you look at, let's say, the factory suppliers or customers of us, but also the infrastructure, you have more and more uh, schools, you have a very big university now. The 500th German firm in Taichung was just presented its license this January. For Duan Yuechang, traveling to Germany is still part of his annual agenda. 
I introduce our business environment and answer their questions about the Chinese market. Taichang is offering a series of tailor-made services for German businesses, and of course, lifestyle too. Hello. Hello. These are the German bread. Yes, complete authentic. Erwin is among hundreds of Germans calling Taichang their new home. At first, he came to Taichang for work, but later quit his job and opened three bakeries in the city. Do you think your bakery is also offering something to German people to think of their homes? Oh, think of the, yeah, I, yeah, maybe yeah, because I mean that's why I come here actually every day to one of my shops to be a, feel a little bit home. Can I try? Yes, you can try any. <laughs> this is a, called Breze. How to say delicious in German? Um, köstlich oder so. Ja, köstlich kann man sagen. Schmeckt sehr köstlich. gut. <laughs> when the first German firm came to Taichung 30 years ago, this little county could probably never imagine one day it will become a home for German firms in China, and they keep coming. While some people are saying foreign investors are quitting China, I think what's happening in Taichung proves how wrong they are.